Hey, welcome back friends. Bringing to you today a motherboard replacement on a Dell Latitude 3520 laptop. Please like and subscribe to this video. We are adding new videos frequently. Want to uh, get started on this particular project with uh, removing your bottom cover screws. You'll use your favorite spudger tool or pry tool to uh, get under that edge and just pry around the edges carefully. You want to make sure all your screws are loosened completely because if uh, some of them aren't and you pry a little too hard, they'll crack that bottom cover. Alright, we're going to get started by removing your battery from the motherboard. Now this particular model, the uh, battery is not so close to the motherboard that you can't just remove all your cable connectors uh, with the battery in place. So I like to leave the battery in place, it saves some time. <clears throat> just go around the bottom edge, remove your keyboard and your touchpad. I just removed the solid state hard drive, removing the memory dims. The, uh, the right hinge, the right side hinge here is sitting on top of the motherboard so you have to remove those uh, three or four screws out of the hinge assembly and, and just anchor that up out of the way. Then I got a single screw on the DC jack take that out so the DC jack can be removed. Got some tape covering the connector for the DC jack and carefully remove that up and then just use my pry tool to grab the edge and pull that plug out. Now we're going to work on the EDP video cable connector remove the adhesive that's covering that and that little bracket folds up and you can pull it back out of the way. I'm going to remove the four screws holding in our heat sink. Now those screws only loosen, they don't remove, they just loosen enough to where you can pry the heat sink out of the way. We'll go back with a uh, chem pad later and clean that off. Yeah, remove the Wi-Fi bracket, holds the Wi-Fi card in place. Try to keep your Wi-Fi antenna cables connected. That'll save you time having to reconnect those later. And then a little uh, I.O. connector that connects the daughter card on the left side there. Just wraps around the bottom side. I can disconnect that. And I disconnected the fan plug from the motherboard. And uh, right there is your speaker speaker connector so you get quite a quite a few connections and then I'm gonna get my anchor screws out of the way I got one down left next to the fan and one up top there and then I've got two screws holding a bracket in place and you get those out of there remove the bracket I'm gonna use my pry tool and kind of lift up and see if everything is loose and it is out comes the motherboard and uh, we'll bring the new motherboard in place here Many times the, the ports on the right side are going to anchor in first at an angle uh, to get your HDMI, your USB ports, C ports kind of into the side chassis holes. And as I'm putting the, <coughs> the motherboard down in place, you're going to want to make sure you get all your ribbon connector cables out of the way. Make sure you don't pinch anything underneath. And uh, you want to make sure all your holes align. You'll feel the, the motherboard sit in place properly once you have everything aligned and nothing's pinched underneath the motherboard. Just start doing everything in reverse motion, putting that side bracket in, two screws. I'm gonna get my anchor screws in, one up top, one down at the left by the fan. And we're gonna get the DC jack put back in place. 
anchor screw that holds that DC jack firmly down. Once that's in place, we can fold the right side hinge back down in place. Make sure you get the correct screws back in the correct holes here. I remember there was a chrome screw that went down in the lower hole and the rest were black screws. Most hinges are going to have little arrows pointing where your, hin your uh, <clears throat> hinge mount screws go. You don't want to put it in the wrong hole, otherwise you're going to cover a hole that is used by a bottom cover. We'll get the EDP cable in place. Be patient with this. These can be damaged if you're too forceful or if you don't do it correctly. We're going to reconnect our ribbon cables. There's our keyboard cable down at the bottom. Touch pad. This looks like a little connector ribbon cable from the daughter card on the left side there. We'll get our speaker connector back in place. I.O. connectors in place for the daughter card. I'm going to get the fan connector back in. Now we'll do some cable management along the bottom side there, get the Wi-Fi card plugged back in. Again, try not to have those antennas disconnect. If so, you can use some pliers or tweezer pliers to get them seated back in place. Get our bracket holding the Wi-Fi card down. Getting our SSD card back in place. As I come to an end on this, on getting the motherboard in, um, you're gonna see a break in the video here because on this particular work order, we were replacing the daughter card on the left as well. So. If you're uh, not needing to replace the daughter card, you'll, you'll be good, sufficient with the motherboard video that we've got here up to this point. But if you do ever need to replace that daughter card, just keep watching. We clean off the heat sink, all the thermal grease, and apply some new thermal grease onto the processor. Don't overdo it on your thermal grease. Don't need a whole lot. get a little dab on there and you put your heat sink back in place it'll it'll spread it out evenly over the processor and you're gonna tighten them in order they're usually labeled the screws are labeled one through four on this one so just tighten them in the order that they're intended to be tightened get our memory dims back in place Now, uh, again, if you need to replace the daughter card on this, we're going to move on to that. Left side daughter card, uh, same same as the right side. We got to get this this hinge uh, up out of the way, the hinge mount. So we get those screws out. We'll fold it up out of the way. There's just a few screws holding everything in place here. We got two screws holding on the bottom part of the NIC assembly little black bracket and you just pry that up and out once you get the screws removed. I'm gonna remove that I.O. cable now off the daughter card. It's a CMOS cable connector and the ribbon cable connecting to the motherboard. Once we get those out of the way, remove the other mount screws, the anchor screws. One up top, one at the left. Once those are out, this, this card should just fold right up out of the way. We'll come in and replace it and go in reverse order, getting the new card in.
Again, make sure you get the right screws and the right holes. Um, arrows on the hinge mounts will usually indicate where a screw goes. There's always a hole that's left open for the bottom cover. You got two screws from the bottom cover that go through those hinges as well. So get that back together. You're gonna get your bottom cover back in. Lightly tighten, do not over tighten those screws. Appreciate you guys watching today. Uh, remember to subscribe to this video. We're adding new videos frequently and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks all.